Greater Boston starts with giving some extra support to those who need it. And thanks to a local nonprofit, adults facing barriers to employment are getting the boost they need. This is so important. Joining us now, Chef Chris Faison. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for having me. I'm really happy to be here. So we have met Chris before. He is the lead instructor at New England Culinary Arts Training. Tell us a little bit about what your days look like. Um, days are great and fun. I deal with people who are coming from the places I've been, seeing the things I say, and we're just trying to change the narrative of what food can do for your life. Food changed my life, and food can change anyone's life. It doesn't matter. It's your recipe, and you can rewrite it. So Just okay. exposing them to a whole new world? A whole new world of culinary. Culinary is, is life-changing. It helps people. It helps everyone. And it's good food, and it changes, makes you feel good. It does make you really feel really good. So what do we got here? Let's talk about what you're going to make for us today while so, we, we also talk to you about what you're doing. In <laughs> honor is our Black History Month, and when you think about Black History Month, you think about food and black excellence. So I brought, thought I'd do a play on chicken and waffles, mm -hmm. and everybody thinks chicken and waffles is a southern thing, and they really love it, and it's connected to the black culture. So I did my spin on it, and we're going to do a vegan chicken and waffles. Vegan chicken and vegan waffles. Chicken yeah. and All right, waffles. let's yeah. start it up. What do we do? So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to put together the vegan waffle, which is super simple. So I have uh, apple cider vinegar and any type of um, non-dairy milk. We're going to put that in there to activate that. It's going to be an activator for, we're going to make an egg base. Now, an egg base, instead of using any type of egg, we're going to use some type of vegan stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can use vegan eggs, or I like to use flaxseed seed. And a flaxseed seed is all it's going to do is going to combine and make a fake egg yolk, pretty much, to make it the combination. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to whip that together. We're going to throw that all into here. Technically, when you're making this at home, you should let it sit for about five minutes. But in the hints of time for us, we're going to put it all together. <laughs> all right. Okay? We're going to put it all together in here. And then you're throwing some sugar and stuff in there. We got brown it. sugar, flour, um, bacon powder, and salt. Bacon so, powder? Bacon powder. Oh, wow. Baking powder. Bacon <laughs> powder. Bacon powder. I was like, that's <laughs> <a> vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that uh, might... Mm, make don't it even better. That, yeah, you yeah. know I love me some bacon. I know <laughs> you love bacon. <laughs> all so right. So we're going to put that all together in here. And my handy dandy whisk, I'm going to just whip it together. Now, I let it sit for about three to four minutes so it can get thick. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the fridge. I'll let it sit for three to four minutes so it can get thick. So, in the hints of time for us, I pre-made it. Oh, yes. oh boy. <laughs> yes. So, I pre-made some and have some ready. It's, it's thick. It's nice. Yeah, it's looks smooth. Like regular, and then that just goes right, right in the iron. Iron. We're going right, to go right to the waffle maker. Make sure that when you're doing it at home, you use your waffle maker, you spray it because it's gonna get really, really thick and it's gonna stick and then you're gonna have a hard time taking it out. Right, all right, so then I just put it in? Does it matter? Put it right on in. All right. Get after it, Meryl. I mean, okay, and then and it, while I'm doing this, why don't you say, uh, tell us a little bit about um, why you enjoy doing this and why you think that this, you're making a difference. I'd love to just to hear that, so why you do it. why I enjoy cooking and think what I'm thinking of difference is because I give back to the community. I'm big on community, I'm big on helping everyone, I'm big on changing everyone's lives and narratives because culinary is one of the things that does not care about your background, doesn't care right. who you are, doesn't care about anything like that. It cares about if you're willing to cook and to help it change your life and people love food. Love like people yeah. want it, food changes anybody's life. You go to anybody's house, anybody's, feelings you see food and, and you bring a smile on your face it's a real connection. good food brings good food tell us about the mushrooms okay so we're going to do the, this is the chicken substitute this is the chicken substitute so we got vegan chicken and waffles and what i got is uh these are um oyster mushrooms oh so oyster mushrooms are like clutters like mushrooms the way my oysters and oysters come together so these are going to be the meat substitute so what we have over here is we're going to do a wet batter which is um which is uh some non-dairy and some vinegar mm -hmm. okay um, I use apple cider, and then we have a dry batter, which is in here is co is a uh, cornstarch, garlic, smoked paprika, and um, nutritional yeast. Um, here's some more nutritional yeast. So you just coat it, and then you're gonna fry it. Coat it, That's and it. then we're gonna fry it. All right. Well, uh, we are running out of okay, time, but tell me real quick as we uh, end here, how can people support what you do? Um, you can find me on Instagram, Chef Chris Faison. Um, you can find Kneecat on the Kneecat page. It's um, kneecat.com uh, dot, dot or dot .org. Dot org. Uh, uh, dot we'll org. link it all to our website. Yes, and look yes, at this. Yes. What I found. Oh, yeah, we did have some waffles. Yes. This <laughs> is beautiful. I should have made some chicken ahead of time. But. Oh, no. I, this is great. This is great. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right Thank back. Thank you, guys. Thank we'll you for having me. We'll be right back. Me. Stay with us. Yeah, it's so easy. He just did us a commercial break. Look at this.
You cannot is, believe how quickly he just moved during fried the Fried chicken and waffle, fried mushroom sure. and waffles look so good. So yeah, you pulled you pulled the mushroom out of the frying I pan. I pulled the mushroom, salted it, peppered it, put it on top, topped it it's with a um, rosemary maple syrup. Oh wow. And everything's vegan, it's beautiful, it's delicious. Drew Barrymore and shows next. Tony Romo's with her as she's in Vegas. Have a great weekend. Thank you guys. Yay, thank you, Chris.